Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, I would like to explore how to make plasma via microwaves. First of all, however, what even are microwaves? Well, microwaves are classified as electromagnetic waves, which are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. As you can see, visible light is also on the spectrum. So we can say that microwaves are sort of just invisible light with a longer wavelength and less energy. This longer wavelength and larger amplitude also means that the microwave simply cannot pass through the tiny little metal mesh on the front of your microwave. I could tell you about all the intricate details about all of this, but for the sake of keeping this video short and simple, all that you need to know is that if you have something burning, for example a match, and you put it into a microwave, then the microwaves will superheat and ionize the fire, making it into some beautiful plasma. Now, let's try to actually make some plasma in the microwave. I will first get some magnesium metal, which I will first light on fire, then put in the microwave and turn it on. This should, as previously mentioned, ionize the fire, turning it into plasma. This is the emission spectrum for magnesium. We see some large green and blue lines, which are the colors that we saw in the plasma. The emission spectrum shows us at which energies Magnesium emits light. I also wanted to try and put some aluminium foil in the microwave and see what color plasma it would produce. I simply put some crumbled foil under a beaker, turned on the microwave and enjoyed the light. Afterwards, I was left with some burnt aluminium foil and the room smelled very sinfully. I would now like to demonstrate how much just adding some simple sodium chloride, which is just a fancy name for table salt, can affect the flame color of burning ethanol, aka pure lab grade vodka. This is just some pure ethanol burning, and as you can see, the flame color is a very pretty blue, with some orange due to incomplete combustion, which just means that the fire does not have enough oxygen present to fully burn. Now we will simply add some of our friend's sodium chloride to the mix, and see what happens. As you can see, we have now achieved a beautiful orange-yellow color, and this is all due to the emission spectrum of sodium, which is in the sodium chloride. Looking at the emission spectrum of sodium, we can clearly see the two yellow and orange lines, which we saw in the fire. I would now like to attempt to put some silverware in the microwave, as I have always been told not to, but have always been curious of what would actually happen. Well, that's certainly a result. If you have made it this far in the video, then I have to say a huge thank you. I really appreciate your support and generosity. On another note, I recently got a new lab as shown in this video now. It certainly is nothing special, and is literally the basement of my family's new house, but it should allow for me to continue with cool experiments like these. You may also see a shed in the future, which I will be hopefully purchasing soon. I also must apologize for literally not uploading in over a year and a half, but I do have some more long-form content which I will be releasing soon, as well as some shorts which seem to be very popular. Again, thank you all for your continued support. Check out my Patreon, and Happy New Year's. Bye-bye.